being complicit, my friend. I'm sorry, but I'm not being complicit to this absolute charade. You know what I mean? And I don't think I should. I don't think. I don't think I should have to be proved to be complicit. I'm not recording you. I'm just saying I've got a cut on my head, and you're fret you're telling me that I'm now I'm now debating with you rather than being seen. I'm be debating with you over a bloody mask and a screen. All right. I I I I'm recording myself. I'm recording myself for my own safety because you know I, I, all I've seen from you guys is deception. So I'm a very truthful, honest man of God, and I'm just asking. I've come here for a bit of treatment. I've got I've been cracked on head with a bottle. So I'm just asking if you could please. Uh, well, I've been brought here actually. Shall I say? Can I say? So. Can I just explain to you? I, I don't. I, I know. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But what I'm trying to say to you is right. I know because I've done my research. All right. So to wear that, I'd be an absolute fool. All right, and that goes against my absolute intelligence because I've travelled okay. the entire country. So let me just tell you, I've been travelled the entire country. I've found thousands of people dying of addiction, begging on the streets today. Okay. And there's five in town begging on the streets can today. Can I just say, though? Yeah, of course you can, of course okay, you can. so our policy in the hospital... I know it's your policy, that's a policy, mate, that's a policy. So, so, you, so you're not going to save me? You're not going to treat me, no? Because I won't wear a mask. Because I won't... Because I won't... Because you can't coerce me to wear a mask. You're not going... You are, you're telling me I can't wear a... I have to wear a mask. I don't want to wear it because I know it's bullshit, mate. Right, okay. You're in here in our hospital. Exactly, in your hospital. This is a public hospital, mate. Yeah. Don't don't get it confused. So I'm not getting I'm not getting treated then, no? So I'll go on and just put a, a bit. What would you advise to go on then for this? No, I want to protect. I want to protect everybody, the elderly. I want to protect the elderly dying and getting killed, all right, and getting shot off. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. So what I'm saying to you, what I'm trying to explain to you is, look, I've travelled the country and I'd be an absolute fool to put that on my face, knowing what I know. So shall I just go home and put a sponge on my head? Is that what you're saying? I can't put that on because it goes against my intelligence. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm not stupid. I've got my own mind. My, own, my mind belongs to me, not the government. Right, so that's what you're saying. I can't, if I, unless I put that on, you're not going to treat me, yeah? That's the policy. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So because I'm not stupid and I don't want to, because I don't want to be any part of this, that's what that's all I'm asking you, mate. I don't understand why you're getting upset, so upset. I've only come here for treatment for the, what the pet tax pays for. You get me? And, and, and I can't wear that because I know what I know. I've travelled all of the country. That's all I'm saying to you, mate. So, so I can't be, se I can't be seen to. I don't, I can't. Do, do you get what I'm saying to you? So I can't. So you're not going to see me unless, unless I can, unless you can coerce me into wearing that. We are alive. This is what you're saying. This is what you are saying. Unless I wear this like an absolute numpty. They've just shut me off now. This is. So unless I put this on, covered in blood. By the way, I'm stood covered in blood. The blood all down my back. They're refusing to treat me, saying that unless I wear a mask, they're not going to treat me. And like, I'd, I'd be an absolute fool to, like, going against my entire, wit what I've witnessed, not what Telly's told me, not what the, t what the, after you know, not what I'm reading on, on in paper, but what I'm actually experiencing in the life. As you can see, I've, more dan I've got more danger of getting bottled in town. I've got more danger of getting bottled in town than I have catching a cold. You know what I mean? It's crackers, mate. I'll just go on then. I'll just get myself on. Can I take some tissue? Is that if I take some of your tissue? Excuse me, can I take some of your tissue to, to dab my head when I get on? So what happens if I like, what happens if um, I die or something? Are you directly responsible for refusing me treatment? Yeah. One of them, isn't it? Well, that's what, the, I've come to hospital. I've come all the way to Doncaster Royal Infirmary. The NHS and, you know, I'm not a bad guy, you know, I'm just going on what I've witnessed in my, my life in the last year and what I've seen on the streets. And people are dying. People are dying on the streets, they're dying of addiction, but they're not dying of a cold. So unless they make me wear that visor like a good sheep, well not sheep, but unless I do, like a good drone, you know, they're not, they're, they've just said they're not going to, um, they're not going to tend to me injuries. So I'm going home now with this injury, I just hope and pray. It's not really fatal. I'm going to clean it in the shower. I'll keep you informed of, uh, of how it goes.